Hello history fans, welcome to Helpful History. Today I have some random household items from Roman Britain here in this magic little box that I'm going to show you. So all of these items are recreations because if they were the real versions that are 2000 years old I would not be able to handle them the way I'm handling them. So. Ah, first we have some face pottery from Roman Britain. This type of pottery is quite different to other pottery from Roman Britain because they're usually really well made jars or pots with then a very comical caricature like face just slapped on the front. They're only really found in Britain and there's not many other links to them found across the rest of the Roman Empire so it's thought that they're a speciality of British potters as they're quite widely found around the rest of this country. They're made in the usual way you would expect on the pottery wheel with most of them having these little faces just plopped on the front but others are actually designed to be the shape of a human head. A significant one that's modelled to represent just a full human head was found at Hadrian's Wall and another one found in York is said to be modelled on the Empress Julia Domna. You hear my voice echoing when I speak like this but moving on from the echo they're believed to have been introduced by the army as most of them have been found in Colchester which is then believed to be the main production site for them. And with a lot of things from history, we're not entirely certain what they were used for, but there's three important options to consider. They've been found at burial sites, which suggests cremation urns, or at shrines, which suggests a religious function. But predominantly, they're found at settlement sites, like Roman forts or domestic settings, where it's likely that they were just used as cooking pots or storing jars for food. This next object, I'm going to give you two seconds to guess what you think it might be in the comments. That was more than two seconds. But this is a baby's drinking bottle, or a child's drinking bottle. So ancient babies would drink their milk out of something like this, and I think it's quite a clever little invention really. Um, a lot of the time at work the children guess that it's a teapot, which again, that could work, it does look like a teapot. But ancient babies would drink milk from this um, and apparently um, milk was only drunk by babies and if you were ill in ancient Rome. So. And they've discovered these from different eras as well, like I believe there's some Bronze Age ones that have been found that are actually in the shape of animals um, designed to make their children smile when they're drinking, which I think is really adorable if it's true. Next we have some writing equipment, so these are wax tablets and you would write on these using your stylus and it looks like a pencil we use today because this end is their version of an eraser because you can warm up the wax with your oil burner which I'll show you in a second or a candle and then when you warm it up a bit you flatten it like this and then it makes the writing go away so um, you could use this to keep track if you're a tradesman you can use it to keep track or you can write your schoolwork on it or they would even send their letters through these but not on one of these letters would be sent in these little book ones. So with these ones, as you can see, it's like a book and you write your message in here. Now to seal it, to make sure no one intercepts your mail and the wrong person doesn't read it, you would tie some um, string around it and that string would go through a box and that box would then have wax poured into it and you would do your intaglio, which was their name for a signet ring essentially. You would stamp into the wax, that wax was hardened and the box would protect the wax seal so that if someone had opened it you would know because the wax seal and the box would be broken and then also the person knows who's sending them their mail before they open it because they know your ring inscription now lastly um i did tell a little fib at the beginning of this video because i forgot that this is actually a real ancient object but i was given permission to show you and i'm allowed to touch because it's one we use in handling sessions anyway. So let me just carefully open it and I'll get back to you. Lastly, we have an oil lamp. Um, and I will show you this close up in a moment. I'll flip the camera because you need to see this detailing. So these essentially are your ancient light bulbs and they functioned like a candle. So you'd put oil inside here and a wick here that would burn to produce light. 
and the orange colour shows us that it's Samian pottery so it came all the way over from France to light up a Roman Britain's home. I really hope my camera does this justice but around the edges you can see horses galloping and then just here is a little man. Now in the middle the bit that's broken would have been a chariot so it would have been a chariot rider supposed to be riding around the edge with all his horses and I think that's quite cool. And that's all the objects I have to show you today. So I hope you enjoyed. I thank you all very much for watching. I will be uploading more of these. Um, but the next video will be, like I say, the ASMR version of this. Because that's what I've been getting requests for on TikTok. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram down below if you're not already doing so. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.